What is good friends, so we are here with Rob aka PokerTG Gamer vs my man Padlob. This is for the league that we have in my Discord, it's Den Premier League. This is a finals game, which is why I'm recording it. So this is a spec QM team for my man Padlob, I know some of his sets. Um, it's Scarf Lando, Rob scouts for Scarf Ninja turn 1, really smart play. Uh, so now Padlob is probably gonna go in a top of Lele or Zem here. Uh, let's see if Rob pulls some sort of double predicting that, or if he just gets up a T-Spike or goes for Toxic. Uh, yeah, Rob uses this team quite often. Um, it's uh, either Specs Coco or Zemo of Coco. He likes to change the set a lot. Sometimes it's Zemo of Kyurem, sometimes it's Zemo of Coco. The Lando Scarf, the Mew is uh, Stealth Rocks. So Padlob is just gonna go for Shadow Ball here with Alakazam. Um, he can go into, uh, into Scizor to keep the Mew healthy because Shadow Ball is gonna do a lot. Um, Padlob gets an unfortunate crit as Rob gets up his rocks here. Um, this Alakazam does not have HP 5, so Scizor walls it, but Rob doesn't know that yet. But yeah, it's. Um, Defog uh, Scizor on this team, Scarf Lando, and so the, the Mew uh, has rocks. You guys already saw it. I use this team on my channel as well. Um, Ricardo made a uh, version of this team with Specs Kyurem, but usually it's uh, either Life Up or Zemo of Kyurem. Like, it's the Spec set is not really used anymore. Um, so now he doubles out, which I'm a bit surprised by. I feel like he should have kept this Scizor healthy because it's, a, it's his best Alakazam check. Um, so, like, the next time Alakazam comes out, he kind of has to sack something. Uh, so Padlob is probably gonna go for rocks here, he goes into Mew. So now Mew can softball it up. Um, Padlob is now either gonna go into one of his special attackers, like, yeah, not not either. Like, he's gonna go into one of his special attackers, he goes into Kyurem. Uh, this is a Specs Kyurem. Uh, I would probably go into Toxapex here, scouting to lock to what the Kyurem locks itself into. Um, they're both myths, so that didn't really matter too much that turn, nothing happened there. Um, I would now go into Coco, because Padlob is locked into Draco Meteor at Specs, but I think he predicted him to double switch. So I do understand why he will lose, but Padlob um, just Dragos again. Um, so this Coco... Uh, Padlob is now gonna go Ferrothorn because his QM can still put in some work. Let's see if this Coco is special or physical. He goes hard for Hidden Power 5, breaking the Ferrothorn, a really nice play. He's just gonna HP Fire again here, I assume, as Padlob goes hard into Lele. Uh, this is a Z move Lele at Shattered Psych. Uh, Scizor is just gonna get blown away. Um, if it doesn't die to this, it dies to the next Psychic or Hidden Power Fire afterwards. And now Alakazam is a big problem to rob. Um, his only way of outspeeding Alakazam is uh, Scarf Lando. So Coco um, should kill from here. He can just click T-Bolt. I assume Padlob is gonna sack off his Ferrothorn here. As T-Bolt should 2-hit KO. And if it doesn't 2-hit KO, he can click HP5. He crits, so it obviously 2-hit KOs. He can just T-Bolt again here. Uh, afterwards, Padlob has some options. He can go either into Greninja or Alakazam here. Uh, and just click Psychic. Like, Alakazam, I think, gets the kill with Psychic. Coco has really bad spit death, so it should definitely kill. Uh, I think Skyflander also dies to Psychic after rocks. And he also needs that healthy, so he cannot switch it in. Um, yeah, like like I said, um, I'm not sure if the Z-move is on the Coco or on the Kyurem. Like, I'm not sure if that's Specs damage, because it only did, like, 49 to Ferrothorn, but maybe the Ferrothorn is really spit death, and that's just a low roll. Um, I haven't really used HP Fire Coco, so like I'm not sure if that specs damage on the on the Ferrothorn, on the hidden power. But yeah, I think Padlob is in a really good position here. If he doesn't mess up, he should have this game. Um, at least I'm kind of excited, excited because um, my man Padlob uses the same team a lot. This team with like um, Venus Stealer, and I understand why Rob brought this team because Kyurem is really good versus uh, the team that Padlob usually uses, the Venus Stealer team. Uh, but yeah, Rob also uses this team that he has now quite often, so like, I probably wouldn't have brought this team if I was Rob. Uh, so yeah, Padlob can either go to Alakazam, Greninja, or Lele here. Um, but if he goes Greninja, then there's like a 50-50 if, um, if he predicts the packs. So I would just go Alakazam here and click Psychic. Yes, Lele also lives a hit from Coco. Um, we can call here real quick, Lele versus uh, Coco, but I don't think there's any reason to go into that. Like, Alakazam just outspeeds and clicks Psychic, right? I'm pretty sure the the Coco is not yeah the Coco is not scarf like I don't know why he went into Lele because the Lele could have technically gotten T bolt parrot full parrot so I would not have made that play so now a uh, scarf Lando clicks Stone Edge um, because that doesn't give the Zapdos a free switch in uh, so now Padlock can go into scarf Greninja here um, so this is kind of 50-50 and if Rob goes uh, okay Rob stays in predicting Padlock to go for U turn or something like that. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't have made that play. Now the game is pretty much over in Padlob's favor. No, no, I understand why he made the play. Because, um... 
he had to pr um, he predicted Padlop to double out, and he's in a really bad position. Uh, like he was he was in the back pretty much. So if Padlop U turns there on the toxic packs, Padlop gets an Alakazam, Padlop gets a kill. So I understand why he made that play. He had to kind of predict Padlop. Like he had to hope that Padlop would switch out and choke, I guess, at that point. But I kind of know how Padlop plays. Um, Padlop usually plays safe in a situation like that, so I knew that he would just ice beam. Um, but to be fair, I don't think um, Rob could have won at this point anyway. Um, was looking really bad. I don't know why he off powered. He predicted the packs, um, but it doesn't matter because Alakazam. Yeah, that was fine. That was a fine play. Yeah, now he just clicks Psychic twice and the game ends. Um, he probably clicks psych Psychic actually three times because Pax is a spadef on this team and can eat a Psychic, which is insane. Pax is so stupidly bulky. I'm pretty sure it can live one. But yeah, Padlock wins this. Um, the score is now one one. And yeah, you guys can join my Discord if you wanna be. Um, if you want to know how this tournament is going, like who's going to win. Um, the one team is called the Dazzling Dock, which is, which is actually a team that Rob is on, that he just lost, so now it's 1-1, they were up 1-0 before. Um, it's funny, the team is called Dazzling Dock, which is, but I'm not on that team, my team is already out. And yeah, Padlop's team is, I think it's the Gungras, um, it's like some bad meme that we have going on in our Discord. But yeah, I might drop a link to my Discord in the description if you want to join, and have a fantastic day, and, and expect more tournament coverage later or tomorrow, and peace out friends.